you season 3 is the wildest season of the Netflix original series to date. It's not even close, honestly. There's so much going on in you season 3, and the whole cast was bringing it. Penn Badgley and Victoria Pedretti are incredible, as usual, as Joe and Love. And, the supporting cast is stellar. The world is about to fall in love with Taddy Gabrielle, Dylan Arnold, Travis Van Winkle, Shalita Grant, Ben Mayle and the rest of the cast if they haven't already. The U season 3 ending is absolutely bonkers. I can't believe this is how it came to an end. But here we are. There are U season 3 spoilers in this video. Please continue watching if you have finished season 3 on Netflix and or want to know how it ends. U season 3 ending explained. As U season 3 winds down, the bodies are piling up. Matthew is closing in. And Joe and Love are growing further and further apart although Love doesn't quite realize it quite yet. The Conrads are still stuck in the glass box in the basement of the bakery, and now, Theo, who is trying to save them, is dying at the foot of the stairs. Thankfully, Joe saves his life and takes him to the hospital, where his dad finds him. Theo is okay, physically and mentally, but after all he has been through, he has a rough road ahead of him. After suspecting that Joe was obsessed with someone else and almost getting caught because of it, Love finally puts it all together when she finds a bloody t-shirt in the diaper pail. It's Joe's shirt, and she quickly finds out whose blood is all over. After learning it was Ryan who was murdered, Love knows that Joe is obsessed with Marion. Love, who has been prepping for this for months, sets her plan into action. She's going to kill Joe, but first, she's going to paralyze him with aconite. What is aconite? It's Wolf's Bane, and it's a paralytic. She is going to make Joe watch while she kills Marion. Lucky for Joe. He figured out that Love has been planning something like this, and he takes a few carries adrenaline pills to help him keep his focus. He's also been dosing an antidote for aconite in preparation for Love trying to murder him, but he's still paralyzed for the time being. Love summons Marion to her house, and she's about to kill her, but Marion's daughter comes to the door. Love, in that moment, decides to let Marion and her daughter live. It's her last moment of clarity. She, then, tries to kill Joe who regains enough movement to inject love with her own poison. He found the stash of aconite and filled a needle with it. Aconite injected is fatal. Joe kills love right before she could kill him. Then, Joe cuts off his own toes to make it look like love killed him and chopped him up. And, he escapes as the house goes up in flames. As I said, it's bonkers. While all that was happening, Carrie and Sherry find the hidden key in the glass cage and escape. The key was there the whole time planted by either Joe or Love. They both stash keys inside just in case they turned on one another. What happens to Henry in Love Season 3? In the final moments of You Season 3, we learn that Henry is with Dante and Lansing. Joe requested that Dante and Lansing become guardians of Henry to keep Dottie out of Henry's life. As narrator, Joe says that, after a lengthy battle in the courts, Dante and Lansing eventually gain custody of Henry. Joe also hints that he will come back into Henry's life at some point. Where will Joe go in U Season 4? U Season 3 ends with Joe in Paris, waiting patiently for Marion and her daughter. Will he ever find them? We'll just have to wait and see. But I don't think so, not in Paris anyway. I'm expecting U Season 4 to follow Joe, now named Nick, to a small town somewhere in the United States. That's what happens in the third book of the U Book series by Carolyn Kepnes, You Love Me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.